Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to bring you along as we crock pot and get ready for dinner. Um, I'm making a crock pot recipe. It is my crock pot mac and cheese which I made for Avery's birthday party a couple weeks ago when I had it in a vlog and a lot of you guys recommended or asked to see the recipe so it's a beautiful Sunday here in Ohio and we're finally excited to have some nice warm weather so we're gonna be grilling for dinner and I thought what a better time to make my macaroni and cheese recipe and show you guys and then we can enjoy it for dinner with our burgers so that is on the menu for tonight so I'm gonna be making the crock pot mac and cheese I'm getting it going it's a little bit later than what I wanted to get it going but life happens so what I always do first is you just, the only thing you have to do for the mac and cheese is you have to boil the noodles. And then you throw that in the crock pot with some other ingredients and I will show you guys what those ingredients are, but that's it. So it's just boiling the noodles, that is it. So I have the noodles pretty much boiled and I'm gonna get everything going in the crock pot. And then, as you guys can see, the house is a little bit of a disaster. Um, not too bad, but just kind of a mess and it's Sunday and I want to relax <laughs> the rest of the evening after we eat dinner. So I'm going to get the mac and cheese going in the crock pot and I'm going to clean this house up and then we'll eat dinner and relax. I poured 16 ounces of cooked elbow macaroni noodles, then one can of cheddar cheese soup. Two cups of half and half. A stick of butter or a half cup of butter. And four cups of cheddar cheese, shredded. I will have all of the exact ingredients in the description box below, but I just set it on high for about an hour and a half, two hours if it's on a lower setting. It usually only takes about an hour and a half with my crock pot. Our house really wasn't too bad. This is usually how it looks on a Sunday because I just let it go and then do a pickup in the evening. It also wasn't too bad because now that it's warm out, we spend a lot of our time outside. So that cuts down on the mess in the house for sure. So I'm sure you just saw what we have going on. So I'm gonna get going while the mac and cheese is going, clean up this downstairs area, and then get the burgers going. I usually like to start out by going and decluttering all of the entire downstairs. So in the living room and the kitchen before I get in and clean. So I just picked up the entire kitchen, the living room, and then I did the dishes. So I have a clean slate to wipe everything down with. I was planning on waiting until the evening to run our dishwasher because it was full, so I had quite a bit of dishes to do that I would normally put in the dishwasher.
To wipe everything down, I just grabbed my Mrs. Meyers Lilac Multi-Service Spray to get everything nice and clean. We had some company over this weekend, so I wanted to go in and give the bathroom just a quick wipe down of the sink and the toilet. And I use this Method Anti-Back Bathroom Cleaner to wipe everything down. So something I had made it a point to do this particular day was I wanted to wipe down the end tables in our living room. I've noticed that now that it's staying lighter later on in the day, we have sun that comes in the front of our house through the front windows. And normally I just, I don't notice it, but the way the sun has been hitting those tables, I've noticed that they're pretty dirty and there was a lot of tiny fingerprints all over them. So I made it a point to go in and wipe everything down so thank you direct sunlight you opened up some dirty end tables to me um, I'm kind of upset that I let it slip my mind but hey now they're clean and I just wiped them down with my all-purpose spray it was just driving me crazy so it was good to give them a good scrum down and so they would be fingerprint free at least for a little bit I then went upstairs to fold some laundry and towels and I usually like to fold my laundry on my bed because it's comfy and I can flip on a good reality TV show, relax a little bit and get some laundry done and it makes laundry not too bad if I can watch a show and relax. So now that the cleaning is all done, I'm getting the burgers ready to go. And I picked up this ground beef from Aldi this week. 
It is their grass-fed, 100% grass-fed ground beans. And just with us trying to obviously get pregnant and going through the IVF process, I'm really trying to um, pay attention to what I put in my body as far as meat products. So I picked this up at Aldi and it was um, like $1.50, almost $2 cheaper than at like our traditional um, other type of grocery stores. So highly recommend Aldi if you have not been there before. So I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna add some onion to the ground beef and some salt and pepper and then Mike's gonna get them going on the grill. We also like to grill some green beans when we're grilling. And all I do is get some fresh green beans, put them in some foil, drizzle some olive oil. And me and Avery love them. Mike does not love them as much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. We are eating, we have our yummy burgers. Our yummy burgers, our yummy mac and cheese, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the mac and cheese is a perfect recipe if you have like a big group and you don't want to have to worry about it. You just boil the noodles, set it, you don't have to forget, or you can forget about it. So it's a good crowd pleaser. So let me know if you guys make it and if you like it. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.